Hello Internet, Big Dave here. Welcome to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, August 6th. This is the wrap-up show where we look back at the week in cheapness and we look ahead to the week that is to come. This past week was Humble Indie Bundle Week. Yes, indeed. I played all five games in the Humble Indie Bundle and made videos for each one. That is the biggest week yet on Big Dave is Cheap. Five videos in one week. The game that you're seeing on your screen is Steel Storm Retribution. Steel Storm Retribution was the first bonus game that was included in the Humble Indie Bundle. After that, all five games of the second Humble Indie Bundle were added for anyone who has given over the average amount. The average tends to hover between about 450 and 550, so it's somewhere in there. So if you've given somewhere in the range of four to five dollars, you got those games as a bonus. So let's take a real quick look back at the games of the Humble Indie Bundle. Number one was Crayon Physics Deluxe, a fantastic little puzzle game that involved you completing the level using bridges, boxes, contraptions made from your crayon drawings. It was great. Get the ball to the star. Stars and balls. Fantastic. Up next we played Cogs. Cogs was a, well really it was a, just a take on that old classic puzzle game of you have a grid of squares and one is missing and you have to move the squares around to solve the puzzle, either make an image or in some way solve a puzzle. Cogs was pretty much the ultimate version of that involving uh, having to get mechanisms to work uh, using gears, aligning gears and uh, piping in steam to steam pipes, getting uh, power to a handle to turn a crank awesome stuff. It was really fun, and I really enjoyed it quite a lot. You'll notice we're not rating any of the games of the Humble... Humble... Man, I went almost all week saying Humble Indie Bundle, and I never messed up. There's my one mess up. We got it on tape, folks. Notice I am not rating the games of the Humble Indie Bundle. That's because I don't want to turn anybody off from the games if I didn't like them. Listen to my voice, and I'm giving you my honest opinion of these games, but I didn't give them any of the buck rating system, because frankly, they're worth as much as you can pay. It's for charity. Pay as much as you can, please. Pay as much as you're comfortable paying. So, after that, we played... What did we play after that? Did we play Hammer Fight? I think we did. Yes, we played Hammer Fight. Hammer Fight, the fantastic little uh, motion game that involves you whipping your mouse around to turn your contraption and uh, and fight other computer-controlled opponents in combat. It was a really interesting game. I did play it a little bit later, if you watch the video, with a better mouse on a better mouse pad, and I did a lot better. So it's a very interesting game where you actually have to control the rotation of your weapon by controlling your uh, by controlling it with your mouse. It was it was a really unique experience. I would really, really recommend uh, trying that game if you want your, sort of your mind blown for the better part of an hour. After that, we went on to And Yet It Moves. And Yet It Moves was the game that involved trying to help a little paper man get back to his piece of paper from whence he's been cut. And uh, you turned the level. That was the really cool mechanic of that game. You turned and rotated the level around your character and his momentum persisted so if he was falling and you turned the level so that the ground was right underneath him he would still smash down on the ground it was, it was really cool we watched the video it was good stuff i really really enjoyed it and finally the game that i was the most excited about v v v v v v six v's that's right six v's i loved that game it is as hard as nails it is it it, it, it frustrated the hell out of me if you watch the video uh, that video, which I got down to about 20 minutes, was actually cut from about 40 minutes of fails and, and failed attempts. Um, it is a little Super Meat Boy-esque in that way that is very uh, unforgiving. It gets hard really fast. Someone made the comment on the video, um, and I thought that was a really good point. You know, it, it doesn't have a lot of leeway. It gets hard quickly it shows you the basic mechanics and then all of a sudden boom it's very very difficult that was the game i was most excited about and it and pleasantly it lived up to my expectations all the rest of the games blew away my expectations because again they were pretty low to begin with for these games some of them i hadn't heard of others um i, I felt well this is an older game and it's probably not going to be that great but they were all fantastic i really like the humble indie bundle i would suggest that you take a look at it you have until what is it next tuesday 
I don't know. You have uh, five or six days from the recording of this. So uh, keep a check on HumbleBundle.com. I would recommend that you purchase the Humble Bundle. Right now it is 11 games for basically six bucks. Um, of course it's for charity, so give as much as you can, but if you can get that, uh, beat the average, that um, average donation, which like I said, hovers between four and a half and five and a half dollars. Beat that, you get an additional five games. So that's 11 games and a free trial of Minecraft. It's an awesome deal. Come on people, give it a try. HumbleBundle.com so let's talk about some other things that are going on in the world of cheapness, and let's talk about the week to come. I noticed in my Steam library that I had a trial of Brink. Uh, looks like it's a weekend trial of, of Brink. Uh, a little bit of a controversial game. It uh, looks a little bit like Team Fortress in the videos that I've seen, sort of a team-based uh, first-person shooter type game. Some people love this game, some people hate it. Hey, a couple of free days, I'm downloading it right now. Let's take a look at it and we'll see if we like it. I might even make a video about it. Speaking of videos, next week is going to be free-to-play first-person shooter week. Free-to-play FPS week. I'm going to focus on looking at three games. Combat Arms, Project Blackout, and Alliance of Valiant Arms. Those are the three games I'm going to look at. I'm going to compare and contrast. I have played all of them very briefly. We're going to dive into them. We're going to see how they are. They are all microtransaction based games where you rent or buy guns, uh, rent them for several days or buy them. They do involve both real world currency and in-game currency. So we're going to look at all of them and we're going to try to come up with, uh, well, which one we think is the best. Of course, there are plenty of MMO inspired FPS's out there that are free to play that use the same microtransaction system so it's not going to be a definitive this is the best one out there because there are dozens so be here next week on Big Dave is Cheap for free to play first person shooter week that's that's almost as hard to say as humble indie bundle alright guys until next time take it easy <laughs>